<laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to Sitting In For A Bit with Arne and Carlos and we're as always your host Arne and Carlos. I was supposed to say that. I know but you know you started... Uh, Arne and Carlos, that's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're not gonna edit this are we? No. No. Anyway, welcome to Sitting In For A Bit, our weekly podcast that we have been doing uh, for a couple of years now. Yeah. Every week we recap our life and uh, show you projects and talk about everything and anything. Mm -hmm. and while you sit on it. While you sit on it for a for bit. It. So it's not necessarily a knitting <laughs> podcast. No. It's uh, a fun podcast though. But I think most of the time we have some knitting. Yeah, we do. We can't help it. Yeah. So we've got some great projects to show you in a little bit. But mm -hmm. uh, before that, uh, as you know, we celebrated the uh, Sutnamai. Uh, May 17th, our national day last week, and uh, we were very happy to share this with you guys. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Um, and uh, for those of you that haven't seen the photographs or the videos, it's because it's not here on YouTube. We did post it in the community, but if you go over to our Instagram or our Facebook page, you can see the images, and there's also video footage on our Instagram account. And Instagram is uh, one of those places where you can go in even if you don't have an account. Just go to our www.instagram.com slash Arne Carlos and uh, you'll be able to see everything. Yeah. yeah. I learned you can't do that on Facebook without having Facebook. Yeah, you need a Facebook profile. Uh, because but I don't have Facebook. No, me neither. So I'm... And sometimes people say you should go and look at it on Facebook and I try and then... We can't. I can't see much. Yeah. So... But people said it was so good to have Facebook because then you could get in contact with all the friends you had from way back and I was thinking do I really want that? Yeah, I know what you mean. I kind of, I kind of thought the same, uh, the same thing. I actually had Facebook for a while but I deleted it in, um, I think it was in 2015, mm -hmm. I deleted my Facebook page and, uh, and I don't have time. I don't have time to sit and write no. to people all the time. Exactly. I have so much other things to do, you know? Yeah. Knitting and gardening and... Mm. and yeah, all the stuff that A we lot do. of things to do. Anyway, yeah. we do have a Facebook page, Arne Carlos, uh, but that's a page. That's not a personal uh, Facebook profile, so it's different. Um, and usually when we share to Instagram, it goes automatically to, yeah, to Facebook as well. So. Yeah. That's it's, how it works. That's how it works. And that today we are in the greenhouse because um, we needed a change. Yeah. And the greenhouse is empty. So mm. I don't know if there's an echo. It's because it's empty. Probably, yeah. Uh, because we had a lot of plants in, in the house while we were on the knitting cruise. But and we so killed most of them. Most of them died. Or half of them. Yeah. And I don't know why we had someone who came and gave them water and everything but I think mm. it was too dark in the kitchen yeah so we moved everything out to the greenhouse but now we are going to Italy on a garden tour we actually are. while you see this I guess we are already well when you guys see this we'll be in Venice we'll be doing the Biennale on our own and then we're gonna join the group that is traveling with us to yeah. see beautiful gardens uh, on Thursday so the day after you see this, we'll be joining our group in Rome. But when you see this, we'll probably have dinner with our friends Leonardo and Alice. And Maybe. We'll probably be having yeah. dinner there. I think um, we are. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, we have an agreement with, with, the, with the neighbor because they are going to stay up in their cottage while we are away. Mm. And the plan was that they should come and water the plants in the greenhouse but the weather has actually been quite good so yeah. all the plants are now in the kitchen garden and there's a timer so that, on oh, the water oh you've done that i've done it i good. did it this yeah. morning and they don't have to come and water but of course it's nice mm. if they come by and look at what's yeah. going on but I've solved the problem, but yeah. now the greenhouse is empty. So I think when we come back from Italy, the first well, thing we have to do is to stop in the place where we can buy plants. Yeah. What's that called in English? A nursery. A nursery and fill up this room because it's so empty. Yeah, so we've got a big to-do list when we come back from Italy. We haven't done much <clears throat> other than clear the garden. Um, snow's been gone for uh, quite some time now. The lake uh, was uh, frozen when we went on the cruise, but when we got back, it had defrosted. So, uh, a couple of weeks probably, we can swim there. It'll be nice and uh, toasty. 
<laughs> you can. Well, I can, yeah. <laughs> Not me. And, um, and yeah, we've got a big to-do list when we come back. We haven't been giving priority to our garden because we're going to go out anyway now. Um, we, uh, Arna, you've been working on your beautiful kitchen garden, which you uh -huh. are... I'm so happy with it. Very happy with that. So... I'm very unhappy with our lawn. Um, there's some um, brown mm. spots but in our I lawn. I think it's like... If you translate it to English, it's like ice fire. Yeah, ice frost. Because the, frost bite, yeah, maybe? Because the snow disappears really early mm. and then it starts to melt and it freezes, yeah. I think, on top of the grass. So we have to add some soil and yeah. seeds. And so shall we do that before we leave or shall we do that when we get back? We will do it when we come back. Yeah. What I'm, I'm hoping now is for some rain. Um, we've been actually hoping for some rain since we got back. Um, there hasn't been any, except yesterday. A little, yeah, bit. A little bit yesterday. But not and enough. Not enough. Not enough. So it's like the plants are almost waiting yeah. for the, the water and I didn't. I didn't. I don't want to go around and water them right now. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's better to just wait. Just and wait. See. Yeah. Wait and see what happens. So hopefully, when we come back, uh, things will have uh, improved on their own. Uh, but yeah, we've got a great to-do list. I'm putting <laughs> clean greenhouse in the to-do list, and then another thing and is fill it with tomato plants. Yeah. And, stuff. and then we have to go get some more patio furniture for our deck because we need. We have. We don't have plants in pots this summer no we're gonna have furniture, we'll have furniture and, uh, and then light yeah and then the usual clean clear up the garden uh and hopefully things will so hopefully things will be lovely when we come back yeah. um in a couple of weeks and we're uh, gonna finish some projects and start on new projects mm, yeah as hopefully. always as kitchen always. garden is the big project that's though, a big uh, project and i'm gonna do another insect hotel mm. i have a plan but this will take years what if we make the whole fence? As an insect hotel, insects, that would be cool. Insect on hotel. The, on that side. Yeah, insect hotel fence. That would be really cool. And it could be a different height. Like a whole village. Uh, yeah, and different heights and roofs going in every direction. Mm. Yeah. Are you in for it? I'm in for it. Yeah. Sounds like a great plan. Let's do the first one or move the one we have to the fence. Yeah. And do, the, do one this summer. Yeah, I'm in for that. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a lot of fun this summer. Uh, and we don't have any plans we, or we don't have many things. We've got something in Cologne. Yeah, and we cream. have one trip with the beetle planned. Yeah, that will be, but that's there. holidays. But that's we've, got one trip, we've got one business trip to Cologne left. And after that, we are off the hook for the whole summer. Um, and Probably then we're going to go to a wedding, yeah, we're going to go to a wedding in uh, end of August. Yeah. And uh, um, yeah, the wedding is for a very close friend and uh, um, you probably think we're going to be wearing our full costumes for that, but we're not because um, I don't think um, it's such a good idea to wear uh, folk costumes for a wedding in the summer. Oh, so, and it's a garden. It's a garden wedding, wedding as well. So, so we're going to be wearing some nice summer suits. Something light. Yeah, nice summer suits with a pretty tie and some nice shoes. Talking about the folk costume, I think it wasn't so warm when we were watching the parade. I oh think. yeah, last week. Last no, no, week. no, not at all. But when we sat down in the garden and having cakes and food and stuff, yeah. that was warm. That yeah, that was, was very hot. But yeah, so you're right. When we, when we were standing under the um, <clears throat> under the portico. At the royal palace. <laughs> what is a portico? portico? That's the you know the, the royal family were standing up in the balcony and we were under the balcony and that that is the portico because that's where the royal cars. I'm learning new words all the time. Yeah, well, it's Italian. I love that one. Yeah, portico. It, I learned Italian yeah. words. Portico. And, anyway, because we're standing in shade there and and the temperature in Oslo was around 22, 23 degrees. But when you're standing in the shade, it doesn't feel very warm. And 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 and, and it wool. Was a little bit of wind. Yeah. And what's interesting about wool is that it has that uh, cooling effect in summer, and then it has that warming effect in winter. So I was standing there with my very thick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, coat. It's warmer. Than yeah. And I, I mean, we call it a jacket, but it, in fact, it's as thick as a coat. I was standing there in my coat, and I was not hot for a minute. I was nice and comfortable. Well, that was okay there, and but then trousers, you came into the garden. Yeah, but that's because we were in the full sun. Yeah. In the garden then after that, well, yeah, well. after the um, after the parades, we had lunch at the palace garden, and uh, we were uh, seated in, in in the area where the sun was, and we both had to crawl into the an umbrella, a parasol, 
to hide in the shade we because it was too hot. Sneaked in to take twenty minutes. Twenty minute yeah. nap. Yeah, but we shouldn't tell our hosts this. No, no one knows. Yeah, that. nobody knows that we went, sneak, snuck in and had a nap. <laughs> well, I was almost dying in the heat. Yeah, me too. So, it was it was really hot. Yeah. It was really hot. But yeah, but no, it's interesting. If you're standing in the shade at 20, 25 degrees Celsius, uh, the sun uh, or the the heat doesn't bother you when you're wearing, wearing wool because it has this cooling effect. Although sunshine is different, so um, <laughs> that was More like cooling oh. effect. Really, really hot. At the dinner, there were yeah. no cooling effects. I have to say, though, I, I, I was a good boy, and um, Arna told me I had to wear the hat. Um, and, and you I did. did. I had the. I, I had, think you look naked without the hat. I had the hat on almost all the time when I was uh, during the parades, yeah. um, and I only took it off uh, for the national anthem and for the royal song, the um, "God Save the Queen." You know, the "God Save the Queen" from uh, England. We have that exact same in Norway for the king. Because they're related, actually, they are third cousins, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so we have the same, the same <laughs> royal that's song. The reason why we have the song? No. I think so, because it's Did British. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. because Queen Maud was a British she was princess, British, yeah. and she brought it with her from England, I think. Anyway, yeah, you you take your hat off for that, and then afterwards, I wore it all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and then I saw, I looked up at the king and the crown prince. They had their top hats on, and every time they had to salute some. Some something they they took it off and then they put it back on. I didn't do that. Though. I'm talking about top hats because I bought that hat for the Satisfaction Buna, but I also have this top hat from Mexico. You remember? Yeah. I got or was it that from Peru? It's from Mexico. It's from Mexico. I think I got it for free. I bought the horse mm. and I An got antique the hat. horse. Yeah. Huh? And an antique horse. An antique horse and I got the hat for free. And we bought the saint as well. And the saint. And then he gave you the top hat. And I see in pictures of people from Satisfaction, all pictures, and they have different hats. They do, and yeah. And the Moore said that, I think she was the one who said that the hats could change with fashion. Also. Of course, or of course. Or if people went somewhere and took home a hat, mm. they used it for the folk costume. Yeah. But that hat is high. Yeah. And the brim is a little bit smaller. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It is. It's I very can cool. have two hats for the folk costume. Yeah, and Santa Star, the Santa Star hat has the you have the silver band in it, mm -hmm. or you could have a woven band. And I think I read a comment somebody asking why why I didn't have a band on mine because there's no tradition. No for tradition it. for that, so I stick with. Uh, but you can have traditions. one. Let's put one on yours as well. No, no, no. The Gudbrand Stalin doesn't <laughs> come with one. No, the Bunad police will. The Bunad police will. What are you doing? Why are you wearing yeah. silver? Anyway, we got home from Sutnamai, um, and uh, first thing I did was take my bunad out of the garment bag, because obviously after Sutnamai we changed, because we had to drive home. We didn't want to drive. It. And we yeah. drove the Beetle. Exactly. We didn't want to sit in the car for two and a half hours. In, in those clothes. No, that was. No, so we 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 kind of changed and uh, left uh, Oslo in jeans and sneakers. Mm -hmm. Uh, got home, uh, brought the garment bags in, I took out uh, everything and uh, I hung up my bunad um, in my closet. And the shirt needs, of course, some tender loving care. I now. already washed mine, so I'm ready for next. Yeah, well, you next need to time. iron it. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. it's clean. Please. But Santa Star, the Santa Star costume that you wore, uh, you wore it now, but next time we have to wear a bunad. You're not gonna wear it because next time I'm gonna wear the Gubran Stalin Buddha because, because we have a grand nephew. No, grand yep. yeah, a grand nephew. And he's going he, to be baptized. He's gonna be baptized in September, I yep. think. And then it's more proper to use the Gubran Stalin folk costume. Because we are going to because be going to in Gubran Stalin and uh, all our family is from Gubran Stalin. And uh, yeah, the, well, the the church where he's going to be baptized that. is in Gubransdalen as well. So we're going to wear the Gub well. I only have one costume, so you'll probably see me wearing the same old. You same can old. always borrow mine. I no, 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 no. I don't need it. I'm going to wear mine, <laughs> and you're going to wear yours. I have two, you know. Yeah, I know you do. However, I do have a project <laughs> that I want to start when we get back. I don't know if we will, but. Um, my project this summer would be, it would be lovely to just take out the sewing machine and have it outside and uh, work on the vest with the tartan, yeah. the but tartan we, we, vest. We will put every piece in... Uh, muslin first. Muslin, 12. Yeah. And 
sew it together and try it on before yeah. we start. Yeah, so they've already... Fabric, because that we learned from the first yeah. one out. Yeah. So they gave us already the fabric, it's pre-cut, but Arne is going to draw all the cut pieces. Cut everything out and sew cut it, it and do a fitting. Do a fitting and like then... Like we normally do. Yeah. So... We didn't do that when we made the full costume, and that was a big... Big mistake, mistake. especially the done. jackets yeah. uh, took a long time. But we and made it, it's finished. Yeah. Opening and closing and taking it up and putting it back, you know, I mean like... My cost, my jacket was uh, even more work than Arne's because I just was not happy with the sleeves. I, we kept taking them off and putting them on, and I was unhappy until uh, the day before uh, we recorded our last week's podcast uh, when we took the sleeves out one more time only the top and then brought them in a little bit and then I was really happy and then when I saw the photos I was ecstatic because I, I was it so really happy good. it looked yeah. so good I have a problem on mine because the red uh, piping, piping there's a little bit wrinkle yeah. I think it's on one side but I, I think I have solved the problem I will make soak it yeah and then I will just yeah. make it so wet totally wet and then I will shape it and so, yeah and you can do that with wool and if that doesn't work you just have to open up the piping and do a little bit I'm of not work. doing that we'll see then you, I, I go around like this and yeah you're, you're a perfectionist just like me so I'm sure you will not uh, I'm sure you will do something to fix it, and I'm sure you will fix it. Will anyway, fix big it. project this summer is going to be uh, tartan vest. Yeah. I hope, and I hope that by and the one each, one each. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, we but the same tartan. We did. Yeah, yes, we did. Yeah. We did. And uh, well, and there's actually only one tartan. It's the Sinclair. No, there's a many variations. There's many variations of the Sinclair of tartan. The Sinclair. Yes, there's smaller, smaller. Um, Squares or yeah. larger, or maybe you can't call all of them Sinclair yeah. anymore because they have evolved in good style. They have, yeah. So they're more personalized. So a quick recap of why we have the Sinclair tartan in our folk costume here in Gudbrandsdalen. Well, to start, you have a choice. You can wear the brocade or the tartan, and um, we got the brocade first. Now we're going to do the tartan vest, and the reason is because in the 17th century there was a war called the, the Kalmar War, um, where uh, Sweden um, was fighting Denmark. Mm -hmm. and, and Norway. Yeah, because at the time, uh, in the 17th century, Denmark and Norway were one country, <laughs> and they were fighting and Sweden. What do you do? You wanted help from Scotland. Yeah. What so, do you do? So the Swedes, they, they hired uh, soldiers from Scotland, but unfortunately uh, for the Scottish, uh, you know, to get to, to the battlefield, they had to cross Norway. How stupid is that? Yeah, and all the Scottish <laughs> soldiers uh, came to Norway and then there was... They had to walk from the west coast and through the whole of Norway. Including our valley. And to end up in Sweden. Yeah. That was the plan. Yeah, didn't work out. No, because in Gudbrands told me fight. Yeah, the big fight was uh, <laughs> there, and uh, and we and took the tartans. Yeah, the no, uh, the uh, yeah, the Norwegian soldiers they took the tartans from the Scottish soldiers as um, a treasure of war. Yeah, because you know the tartan, you fold it, and there's so much fabric, and it was very valuable. So that's how the fabric ended up being part of our folk costume. Yeah, and it's usually the Sinclair tartan because the general was a Sinclair. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yeah he was. Sinclair. He was from the Sinclair clan, the general. So all the soldiers had the, the Sinclair tartan, I think. And then um, it ended up here, well, in Gudbrandsdalen. And it also ended up here in Valdres, uh, but, but a different have version. They tartan, but a different version. Yeah. But maybe it came from Gudbrandsdalen. Probably. And then evolved. It's a neighbor valley. Yeah. You never know. So, so anyway, uh, yeah. lovely, lovely folk costumes uh, we have and uh, soon we will have two more vests so hopefully uh, we will show them we'll be able to show them off to you guys when we um, when we finish them but you know what i found i was thinking about this just a few days ago mm -hmm. you know we have this book from uh, vestalder yeah i think it's vestalder and there's like all drawings of garments how people were dressed in the old days mm -hmm. that's from the area where my grandfather came from yeah and you have the drawings of the garment. What if we try to reconstruct all these garments just from the drawing? That could have been fun. With a sewing machine? Yeah. Oh, could Make be fun. them in twelve and try them on and maybe I mean, we can do um, like a different 
Why not? It's, Make a new one. Yeah, why not? Yeah, you can wear one. I sure. Seen that too also. It's like I mean, we have not. It's not like we have that much to do. No, I mean, well, we're just busy. We have nothing to do. Yeah, right we're just now. busy with our traveling schedule and packing and getting our garden ready and the greenhouse and the tartan sure. vest. But yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> Uh, maybe next year. Maybe, yeah, or maybe, <laughs> maybe in the future when we're older and when we retire, if we ever. If but we it was ever different retire. from the boo, not from that area. So it could have been fun to try it. Yeah, because it was very different from mm -hmm. what is the boo, not. Yeah, absolutely. So you guys enjoyed our uh, our uh, video that we did two weeks ago, the sit in it for a bit from Hurtigruten, uh, and that was a great trip. Uh, yeah. It was so nice to be back again. Uh, it was on the road. It was also very strange because we haven't been around so much people for almost two years. Yeah. It was like the first time with a lot of people. But so it, was it was great. Uh, the group was fantastic. Yeah. Such a nice, really group of nice people. People. Um And we really enjoyed spending time with them. And of course, we enjoyed traveling north and uh, south. Mm -hmm. uh, May is uh, really the trickiest month of the year to do Hurtigruten because it is the time of the year when the weather gets totally cuckoo and crazy and um, you know two three weeks ago it could have been the opposite we could have had like really bad weather in the south no, and like really sunny weather. in the north we never had bad weather yes oh no only poor clothing choices <laughs> yeah. so where's your umbrella why, why are we talking about that we don't have bad weather and how about the umbrella, My umbrella is in, um, in the garbage in the garbage can <laughs> in the boat <laughs> actually it was totally broken yeah i bought it in venice because it matched was it matching Your my, my blue jacket yeah and i don't have it anymore but no. we are going back to venice and we'll i a new one. saw some really good umbrellas yeah so let's get one there outside the shop in the bucket you know yeah but we're, like not going, we're not going we're not going to go to stick. we're not going to go around in the city of venice we're just going to the biennale in and out twice and then we're going to rome so we might not have time. Anyway, back to the weather in, in, uh, here in Norway. May is really a crazy time. And this time it was really interesting. We went, they, they, there had been some snowstorms in, uh, in the north, uh, which is actually quite unusual this time of the year. Uh, I think it, okay. But then again, it can happen. Um, yeah, there were like three weeks of snowstorms in Lofoten and in, in uh, Tromsø. Yeah, yeah, way up north, yeah. it's full winter. So we felt like... We, it felt we, like winter. Yeah, we left Bergen on a very sunny day. It was warm in Bergen mm -hmm. when we left. And then uh, as we started moving uh, north, it got uh, colder and colder. And then, of course, the boat changes direction in Kirkenes, And that's where we left you guys. Uh, got on the got on the ship again and then started going south and then we really could feel that we were going to, towards summer yeah. again or spring anyway and when we arrived in uh, Brønnesund uh, on uh, you know two three days after we left you guys we were out on deck sunbathing yeah that is actually the first time we could sit outside yeah in the sun and enjoy that was really nice yeah. we haven't done that for a long time yeah that was a great thing to do and that was actually a really cool day because remember how that day started it started with something that we have never ever seen before on Hurtigruten the what's it called the whale yes the whales we what saw was the, name of the, the pilot whales. The pilot whales. Yeah. And the, the, it was so many. It was yeah. like the the sea was boiling. Yeah. Because they were like it was like everywhere. a pod. And the boat stopped for a while yeah. so we could be there and just look at them. And our group taught us our group taught us that uh, when you have a lot of whales, it's called a pod. So we had a pod of whales. There must have been between fifty and a hundred. And they were frolicking in the water. You know, you could see them. They were jumping up and down again and up. I've never down. seen that. Uh, we've never seen that in Norway that so cool. before. Um, totally unexpected. I don't know where you were because I was having breakfast with uh, the two lovely Canadian friends of ours uh, from upstairs. the group. I were upstairs yeah. knitting. I was having breakfast with our Canadian friends um, and um, they were facing the window and suddenly the loudspeaker said that there was a pod of whales so they were having breakfast we were having breakfast with whales yeah. it was really nice you were i was upstairs knitting with some of the other people in the observation day had, yeah and yeah. then i had to go out to yeah. see them from the outside so that was really nice oh wow never amazing seen like that. 
So yeah, so you can get the, if you go on Hurtur in Norway, you can get the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. If you travel in the right time of the year, it's not possible to see it now. I mean, there is Aurora Borealis all the time, but uh, you can only see it in darkness. And now we are actually in, in the sun, daylight all the time. And the midnight sun. Oh, the yeah. But now you get the midnight sun, right? You get the midnight sun now. From uh, September to March, you get the Aurora Borealis. And uh, you can get breakfast with whales, yeah. if you're lucky. We were very lucky. So that was a new first thing. We've never experienced that before. And uh, yeah, I was reading a lot of the comments. People were writing uh, comments uh, when we were doing our, um, our uh, little, uh, how do you call it? Our little piece on uh, every day, the little blog. <laughs> it was a lot of noise, I guess, a lot of comments. Lots of wind, yeah. <laughs> and we were pretending to be report weather reporters. It was quite it was fun. quite windy. Yeah, but I was reading comments. People uh, really loved the, the little concept of, of what we were doing. A lot of people, um, somebody that is coming in September on the cruise who said that they had to rethink their wardrobe for that, <laughs> but I wouldn't do that because... So uh, you need everything. Yeah, I mean, you do need, you can bring a down jacket and some, you know, layers of, of stuff, but September should be warmer than May. I mean, it's, it's one thing to go from winter to spring and then summer, and then it's a completely different thing to go from summer to fall. So I think September is going to be warmer than... I think uh, when, you, when you come up north, a dundun could be good. A down jacket, yeah. Well, uh, always. If you need to go out and look at the view. And stuff. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, because it could be windy as well. So but, you can knit something on the boat. Yeah. But then so you have to be quick. First, uh, first uh, trip with Hütterütten. Check. Done. And now we are looking forward to uh, two more. Um, two more before New Year? Yep. Yeah. And I can't wait. There's going to be one September going in and October. We have one in October. Yeah. Also, you see, I'm not. And then in November, we go to the US. And so, that, yeah, so yeah. we have a lot of things to do. Well, lots of things to do. Um, so, very exciting. Things are slowly going back to normal, I guess. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Arne, what have. Uh, yeah, I want to show everybody what I was doing. Um, Oh, what I'm taking with me, I started this on the... On the um... You talk too much. You can't talk and knit at the same time. No. <laughs> you didn't do much. Plus, you know, COVID has me in my brain a little slow. Yeah, but still. So, what do you mean, but still? What does that... What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> uh, but still. I uh, think you would... Uh, okay, you will understand when I show you what I did. Okay, yeah, okay. So, anyway... Um, this is what I did on board. Uh, I know, I know, uh, but COVID has slowed my brain down a little bit, unfortunately. Uh, this is the colorway Lufulten from our um, Regia Sockyar. And I'm going to take this to Italy. Yeah. And I'm going to knit on the bus. And you can also bring it in September. And I'll bring it in September if I'm not, fin well, in September I can bring the second one because I'll obviously be <laughs> yeah, done with this one. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, this is a uh, bus uh, knitting in Italy. We're going to be going, yeah, first by train to Rome. And then from Rome, we're going to be on the bus. We're going to Tivoli uh, and then we're going to Florence. Yeah. And then we're going to Verona and then up to the Italian lake. So yeah. I think you will do a lot. I'll do a little bit with this. Yeah. So this is mine. Um, okay. Yeah. I, I, and I, now I'm really envious because look at what Arne did in that cruise. I finished this one. <laughs> it's a whole sweater. I had the front. And I finished the back on the boat, and then I finished the sleeves when I came home. Mm -hmm. I this know. is the first one. This is the, one of the charging sweaters. Yeah, brioche. Um, and it's knitted with the Norwegian wool by Rowan that we have. This one is called... Beautiful. Beautiful color. A gray ice. Mm. Or ice gray. Yeah. Something like... No, fro uh, uh, gray frost. Okay, I know it's quite warm here, Arne, but care to put it on and model it for us? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, li I like the volume. I like the volume and I like the way the sleeves came out. I think that's really nice. It's the dropped... It's a dropped sleeve. A dropped sleeve. sleeve. It's very warm in here. Yeah. But I like to have these dropped sleeves and... Yeah, really fabulous. And a little bit of volume. Not yeah. the, 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 um, the green bluish one is not so... Yeah. What did you say? That, that's more wide. Yeah, it is. But I like this one. I'm gonna make one more. So... Yeah, and I think this one is gonna keep its shape quite well. I because it's, so. it's just 100% wool in that. And I'm making another one. And we this is uh, Daphne. This time I'm doing oh, the that's... sleeves first. Mm. 
So. Is that going to be for me? Same volume, but you can wear anything. Well, you made this one a little too short for me. I have, no. a, 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 I have a longer upper body, so I don't want to look like a Spice Girl at my age. Well, I, can, I can make it a little bit longer, that's yeah. okay for me. But the sleeves were okay for you? The sleeves are fine, but I just don't want to show my belly button. At, you know, in my age, it's not fun anymore. No, I, I understand. <laughs> yeah. But you're not showing the belly button, not in this one. Well. So. So, but now I'm working on, this is my thing for or knitting on the bus. Mm. And I think I'm only bringing this. I, I have actually packed my embroidery, the shirt, mm -hmm. which I didn't touch on the boat. Yeah. Because I was also knitting the project and I was knitting on the sock or the stockings for the fork. You know what? I start sweating just by looking at you like this that. Is so if you want to cool. take it off, be my guest. Feel free to take it yeah. off because but, but, it's, I mean, it is but hot. But I, I want to have one in every color now. Yeah. There we you had, go. We have 10 colors. Yeah. Oh, and well, five more. And we're launching a couple, a few more colors. Anyway, beautiful color and uh, a great, uh, very simple brioche sweater. I think it's called Frost Gray. Yeah. You should so, be very proud. Well, I'm proud. I, I've done two sweaters now. Yeah. Then we got some That's gifts. Good for me. Yeah. Like, good that I have time to mm. do it because normally I don't do gifts. Yeah. And then we got some gifts on who to do out from our from the people that joined. Um, I got three sets of the measuring spoons, and it's and it's funny because I have been looking for those. You know, the teaspoon, the tablespoon, and people laugh because we grab just something random from the kitchen, and then they say all the time that we should get the measuring spoons. I cannot find those in Norway. I have looked in all the kitchen, you know, the stores that sell kitchen stuff. I haven't found them anywhere, no, but yeah. we were really lucky. Oh, by the way, this is mine. This I was know. given to me. Anyway, we were really lucky that we got um, three sets um, of the measuring spoons. So now um, if I lose one set, I have two more sets to um, mm to use, so I'm very happy. And then, uh, for some really bizarre reason, uh, I was given this. <laughs> From Lisa. Yeah, Lisa gave me this. Um, oh, don't take it out, keep it in the plastic. So it is two Dolly Dollars. That is so cool. And they're real. Actually, we should frame them. Frame it's real, it's, it's actually a real two dollar bill and it's got a sticker of Dolly there, so it's um, you know it's not a What's fake. It's a sticker. It's a picture. Yeah, but it's look. It's, oh, it's a sticker. It's a sticker. Ah, be careful. Put it back. And yeah, you have to frame it. Yeah. So two Dolly dollars. Lisa <laughs> gave this to me. However, um, I know how much. I mean, I like Dolly Parton, but I know how much Arna loves Dolly Parton. So I actually, Lisa, I'm going to share this with Arna. And I think that, uh, you know, Arne should be the one who takes care of it, so... Um, I'm gonna frame it. Yeah. And put it in a safe place. Yeah, put it in a safe place so that we can both admire the Dolly Dollars. Maybe with the fringes we got. The Dolly yeah. thing. That would be really but nice. But Lisa also gave us this one. Run, Rose, run. Yeah. Ah, finally we have hey. it. Ah. So, um, Arne, or Arne... Wait, 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 look. Look at this. Oh yeah, special one. Green. It's green. Look at this, Kim. No, oh, you're talking to Kim Rista now. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm sure this one, super Kim. jealous now. <laughs> anyway, we ordered it from uh, a Norwegian record store called Plotte Kompaniet in vinyl. And they kept sending us this email. I mean, I don't know how many months now. Two, three months? Yeah. Every week they keep sending us the, um, the the shipment is delayed, we don't have a date for delivery, blah, blah, blah. But you know, the moment we got this from Lisa, I actually went to the computer and I looked at the last email we had received from them. And I just wrote to them, please cancel the order. And they did. Yeah, so now, because we got it from Lisa. Yeah. And then we got this book. And I thought we ne didn't have it before, but this is a special one because when you look at the book, My actually, Life in Lyrics. We actually have shown this book before because this book we have. Yeah, but it's a special edition. But this is a very special edition because it's in this nice denim box. But there's also a little vinyl. What's that called? A single in the A single, yeah. Oh, a pink one. A pink vinyl single with 
two songs which I have never heard before. Oh wow, look at look that. Look at this one. So you've got, that is so cool. So you got a green one and a pink one. Yeah. And we also got the novel, the Run Rose Run, Run which Rose we, have, Run. we actually had before, but we keep in both because they have a little bit different on the cover. Ah. So if you good. collect Dolly Parton, you collect everything. Correct. So, so that's why I'm sharing my Rue Dollar. No, my Dolly Dollar. <laughs> Rue Dollar. <Yeah. laughs> We're yeah. watching RuPaul's We're watching Star RuPaul's All Stars now, so yeah. <laughs> Your Rue Dollar. But my Dolly Dollar, I'm, or two Dolly Dollars that I'm sharing with Art. But we have to put it in this nice box so it doesn't yeah. disappear. Put it in the box, put it in the box. with the, all the Dolly Parton memorabilia that we have. We have to take the measure and check the frame shop in Florence. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me, we have to take a couple of measurements, yeah. Because there's a beautiful shop in Florence who do these beautiful frames. Yeah. We're going to send all the people who come with us to the garden. Giovanni Baccani is the, the name of the guy. So they can go and see this mm -hmm. thing. And then I am preparing my reading for the trip. Your literature. So, since we are going to Stresa, I found this book, A Scandal in Stresa. I have never heard about this. It's like a, an Elspeth Duff mystery. Never yeah. heard about it. But if it's bad, I just leave it in the hotel. Yeah, but so we're going to Stresa. So... We're going to Stresa, so I have to read about Stresa. Yeah. We're going to be staying in a very opulent hotel called the Regina Palace. It's one of those Belle Epoque hotels where people and that used to stay when they did the Grand Tour because they would usually come through Switzerland into the lakes and then from there on continue southbound. I so, think the hotel is mentioned in this one. Yeah, the Regina. It should have been. Yeah, should yeah, be. yeah, yeah. But in case if it's boring, I brought another one. Stål He, Norwegian author, he wrote a book called Havana Taxi. I heard about it on the radio. They said it was good, so I'm going to try. Mm -hmm. And he went to Havana and bought a taxi mm -hmm. and started cool. the taxi company. company. Is that and the guy? Yep. Yeah, and oh, it's he's... part of his social anthropology. Oh, so interesting. It's this guy. Very interesting. Uh, this book. I don't know if it's English, probably not in English yet, but mm. it's kind of very interesting. That's one of those places where I really would love to go uh, before there's a Starbucks in, in, in every corner. I don't know if we're already too late. But, I don't uh, know, but I want to see all the beautiful cars. Yeah, the vintage cars would be fun, especially yes. because we have a vintage car. So um, That's something where we should go in the yeah. future. So that will that that'll be uh, something to. There's consider. so much to see and so little time. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. I keep looking at the lawn and I'm thinking, hmm. Yeah, we definitely need some rain, and we definitely need to fix the the parts that are not working out. I think when we come back from Italy, it will be so green. Mm. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yes, and oh, and then we've got an update from the dead uh, slash uh, death woman, or no, blind. Or Sorry, blind. she's we dead. We don't know or what blind. happened. We don't know. We have still haven't found out. So it's the horse that I showed you a long time ago. Now finally, I have started. I have to say, to make embroidery on this print is so boring because I can't see what I'm doing. I have to go on the back to see that actually mm. something happened. I like to make embroidery from squares. Yeah. But this is, is printed, so it's already there, so just fill in the colors and... That's boring. And it's kind of... There's no surprise, in a way. Mm. And then I added... I'm gonna add this um, eight-leaf rose pattern. Great. That will be like on the whole back. And I have to find more of this canvas and put on the side because I... Is it called when it's the same on both sides? Is that rectangle? Hmm. Yeah. I think no, no. cut it up. Square. Square. So that's a square. Yeah, yeah, square. So if I find more of the canvas, I will mm. just put that on top and embroider through it. And can you imagine filling all this with the grey? The background should be that grey. Oh boy, how boring. How boring is oh, that? Oh boring. Boring, boring. Oh, so boring. Maybe that's why she stopped. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. That's what killed her in the end. <laughs> it was more so or, bored. Or made her blind because... No, she was so bored. Yeah. But I'm gonna make it beautiful. Art is gonna make it gorgeous. And then we have the mandrel pillow. You didn't bring it, did you? No. No, but I have a picture of it here. We've got the, the mandrel pillow, you've got it here. 
Um, and if you're can you ca- you, no, not really. But you can go to our website at arnicarlos.com and you can go to our web shop and you can get, get the pattern. We've actually just published the pattern there. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a fun project. Um, and uh, yeah, there was, uh, when we posted a picture of it, there were some comments, uh, some funny comments. And uh, all we have to say to that is get your mind off the gutter. And go Google a but mind drill. Isn't, isn't that good that we can? Yeah, but give Google that but, experience. But, but you can Google what a mandrill looks like. Or a mandrill. Yeah, the guy or the lady, because they're both right, male and female. But they both look like that, so it's not. I think our. the male is the one with the blue face. Okay, the I'm male has sure. the blue face yeah. and the you know. So anyway, get your mind off the, out of the gutter. <laughs> it is not what you think it is. It is the way they look. So we've actually just created a very realistic portrait of a mandrill. And we have more animals coming. Yep. And it's still a secret. I think you mentioned one. Oh, before. no, 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 I'm not going to mention it, anything. Because the plan is to have like a series of animals in the sofa. Mm-hmm. And for that, those animals, yeah. we are using the same yarn. But for this project, mm-hmm. we use yarn from the thrift shop. Yeah. So this is every kind of yarn and if uh, we have to have a lot of one color we buy some wool yeah. for knitting and just fill in with but now we're having a new problem i mean uh, <laughs> the other day we got a delivery of some stuff we bought in florence um put them in the room we're, we're, we're <laughs> and, going back to florence yeah I, uh, oh god yeah anyway should yeah we, we put we put and you know what I think we should do is we should you know bring something in, take something out because we just keep bringing stuff in, and it is getting out of hand. And then I asked Arne a question. Um, my question was, uh, what's going to happen if we live another thirty or forty years? How is our house going to look? Um, and then he just started <laughs> laughing. And and now with these pillow things, because he keeps finishing all these projects from the dead slash blind lady and they all end up on the sofa so now no um, but some of them you don't want in the sofa like the the pink one with the bambi yeah that's not on the sofa but we've got two mandrel pillows and we've got a lot of stuff he finished and now um i keep spending a lot of time rearranging them on the sofa um because when i sit on the sofa there are so many there that i have to take them out and then when I get up again, it's like, oh, I have to rearrange them so that they look nice again. But two of the unfinished objects from the lady that I have finished, I haven't, going in the beetle. I haven't sold the back fabric on the back yet, but they are going in the beetle. Mm. Yeah. Because when, when I drive, you fall asleep. Yeah. And it's like your head is hanging mm. like that, and it's dangerous. So yeah. you anyway, need a lot of pillows in the car. So, Arne, we have filled. Sorry to interrupt you, it's I'm very nice. sorry, because this is in my head. Yeah, you have to get it out, you know. We have filled our home with objects for the past 23 years. And if we live another 30 to 40 years, and you know, judging by you know your father's age, my parents' age, that may happen. What are the rooms in our house going to look like? I think we have to start, because what I want to do so my idea now is I want to display things um, so that people can actually see them. So, okay, so. But where do, where do you put the other stuff? Okay, hang on. Well, that, that, I don't know. Anyway, so yesterday we were having tea in our living room and the, the bell rang. And we were like, who's that? Are, you, are we expecting anybody? It's like, oh, no. And, uh, you know, barking Freya, blah, 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 you know, all of that. We went out. And, moose, moose. And yeah, moose, moose, moose. And it wasn't a moose. It was actually a lady, um, a lady that we've met once before. Um, she um, owns a cabin or her sister owns a cabin on far away, that away. Anyway, she had uh, driven her car into you the gutter. She didn't tell who she is because she didn't want to tell her. Oh, yeah. Place. she was, oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, she'd driven her car out of she the road. She lives in that direction. Actually, she'd ru- she no, trashed no. one car. And that now she had a rental car that she had driven out into the uh, side of the road. And, and she came for help and uh, we went to try. But you know these modern cars? I tried to put on the engine, but it didn't work because one tire was up in well, the air. Well, one tire was up in the air and then the rest of the car was... And she started crying because this was a rental car and she just 
done some stupid thing with the, another car. Well, that's what she said. And we had to console her. And I said to her, you know, this is not the first time um, people do this. Uh, this has happened before. And then Arne told the story of when he did it. So, I mean, had been there, done that. Moving on. Um, and what we, can I say? And, and, then, <laughs> and then we helped her call the, the guys who came to rescue her car. Um, and they were far away. They were like uh, 40, 50 minutes away. So uh, we said to her, you know, we, you're so upset. You shouldn't be upset. The car has not been damaged. We've done it before. We know uh, how you're feeling, but don't feel sad. Come on, come, on, come on and have some coffee with us. So we invited her into, the, into her home. Um, and uh, yeah, to calm her down, we made her coffee. <laughs> um, and then she was a little bit curious, you know, she saw our living room and uh, yeah, she had the reaction everybody has. Uh, she, was stand she was standing there and uh, she did quite, couldn't quite fix her eyes on anything because there was so much there. Um, yeah. She liked it. She, yeah, well, yeah. See, but, we shouldn't take out stuff. But suddenly she, you know, she sees one thing and then it takes another five minutes and then she sees another thing. And then, yeah, so my idea, anyway, my, I'm, I'm digressing here. Uh, my idea, a lot. yeah. My idea is we should take out some stuff and store them, and we should display fewer things, and then we should alternate our displays, you know, ever so often, to you know, so that people can actually, or so that we can actually but see them. But then you need to have a, a space where you can store things. Things. We have a whole but that's not finished. It it will be cold and damp in the winter. Yeah. Okay. It's not good for Okay, so when that is finished though, is that a good idea? And then we can carry idea? things out, in and out. You can do that. Anyway... You can, I, do, you can do the decorations. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So anyway, the poor I lady... I can do the shopping and you can do the decoration. Okay, fine. So anyway, the poor lady in the end of the... The end of the story was that the guys came and they pulled her car out and there was no damage to the car. No, it was fine. And she so. sat in her car and drove away. And she ended up actually having a nice afternoon, having coffee with Arne and Carlos while uh, waiting for the rest of And she guys. said she had never been into a house that looked like that. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, is that a compliment or not? I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure it's a compliment. <laughs> anyway, we, we, we did manage to give her a lovely afternoon. Poor thing, she was really upset. I was like, hey, but it's a rental car. We're like, don't worry, there's no damage to but the car. But if you think about having fewer things in the house, what about this greenhouse now? There's probably an echo on the video because it's so empty. Well, it's not empty. No one likes empty. It's messy. No, it's empty. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this is what we had today. Uh, we're going to continue this discussion, uh, you know, because I want to persuade Arne to uh, pack down some stuff and, yeah. you know, so that we can display other stuff nicely. I'm going to pack down this one. Yeah. This is going to Italy. And I have put 10 balls of yard in the, my bag. For yourself? For this project. You, are you bringing... Okay, well, <laughs> sure. Why not? And then we have 24. Five balls of yarn for the project. I don't think you're going to have time. We're going to be busy. A garden, but Biennale. There's it's nothing, nothing worse than not having the yarn. Yeah, but this is not a knitting cruise, Arne. This it's is a garden, garden trip. trip. So don't over... Yeah, you know that everything you, you take with you, you do need to bring back again. So, it, But then I can wear it. Oh yeah, in Italy? If, if I'm quick. In Italy? No. This yeah. time of the year? I don't think so. But no, no, bring it for, you know, I mean, it's, you're going to carry it, not me. So just bring it if you want, but... Um, no, I'm not bringing this one. No, there's no <laughs> need for that. <laughs> yeah, so um, I have to go pack. Uh, I have actually, I spent four hours folding shirts and ironing t-shirts. Uh, and um, yeah, and now I've made my selection of what I'm going to bring. Um, I've got four pairs of shoes and uh, five pairs of pants. He will look fabulous. It's exaggerating it a little bit. I think I'm gonna go and, and kind of start scaling down and getting rid you of stuff. You don't bring fish when you go fishing. Yeah, but we're not gonna have time to go shopping. But that's easier sometimes. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right. Anyway. Well, we don't have time. We gotta go pack uh, and um, uh, then we're gonna go deliver the dogs um, as usual. And then we are gonna go and we will be back on Sunday, but there will, we won't be back next Wednesday. No. Because we decided to have a summer break. Yeah. 
We've been doing Still In It for a bit for three months now and it's been uh, quite a challenge to do this and our new busy schedule now that we're not locked down for the pandemic. So Still In It for a bit is going to take a break um, and we're going to be back in August, sometime in August, I don't know when. Uh, and the Sunday tutorials will continue as usual, so um, you've got that to look forward to. And when we come back, uh, we'll sit in it for a bit in August. Uh, it will be a completely new format, um, and uh, you may not even recognize it anymore. Or us. <laughs> because... <laughs> Anyway, it's going to be a new form. Sitting in for a bit is going to change its format a little bit. Uh, we've got some ideas of what we're going to do. It's still going to be sitting in it for a bit, though. Just the format is going to change. See if it works. So see if that works. And we look forward to seeing you again in August. But we will see you again in, on Sunday with a new tutorial here um, at our YouTube channel. And uh, I know a lot of people have been asking for the tutorial on the garter bands. It's coming. We've recorded it. It's on the queue and it will be shown uh, sometime uh, before uh, fall. So okay. it's coming for sure. Um, Arne, how about some formalities? If you like our videos, put your thumbs up. And if you're a subscriber, put on your notifications because then you won't miss an episode. And put yourself on the mailing list because then you will have all the news about everything. Including our tours in America and our knitting cruises and our garden trips yes. for the future. Okay, Arne, before we pack, shall we go? I have a few things that I want to show you that I think we could kind of pack and take out so that other things can shine. Are you talking about decorations now? Well, in the house? That or and the suitcase? Well, both actually. I need to figure out what to, what to take to Italy. I think I have too much right now. I think and you should focus on what you should take out of the suitcase and let all the tchotchkes stay yeah. in the house. Imagine we've been traveling a hundred days or more a year for the past 20 years and I still haven't learned how to pack and neither have you. I mean, 20 balls of yarn or 10 balls of yarn. No 10 for me and... Yeah, anyway. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to figure this out and then we are going to have a wonderful uh, time in Italy. I hope uh, we look forward to doing this garden trip. Yeah. And uh, we'll sit in it for a bit. We'll be back after the summer. So and see, you see you then. But also see you on Sunday. Bye. Bye.